Hello YouTube, Ready Reptiles here with another video and in today's video I'm going to take you guys along the process of how I deal with inclement weather such as severe rainstorms here in South Florida. Right now it is summertime and if you guys are South Floridians or if you guys are Floridians in general you know about the hurricane season and uh, you know throughout the entire summer we're getting lots of rain showers and here in my backyard it is clay if you guys follow me on Instagram you've seen me struggle with that process before so what I do here is I'm going to collect all the big sulcata tortoises put them inside their heated shelter uh, you know pack up the smaller tortoises that are going to be outside that obviously their enclosure isn't suit, suited for rainstorms and uh, i'll just kind of keep you guys updated and take along with that process so i hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's get started all right guys so before we start you know packing up the tortoises uh i want to show you guys the weather it is a little bit dark coming in here soon the clouds are starting to roll in uh and as you see the floor here is clay and it gets very solid so the water does not filter fast enough and being that these tortoises come from a drier area in the world uh, i do not like to let them you know primarily sit in the mud and get all mucky because one can cause respiratory infections if the weather was to drop but obviously it's not going to do that now because it's uh you know summertime and then uh you know they can get lots of funguses and stuff because they're just kind of sitting in wet more and like warmer water so by me grabbing them you know kind of going through the entire enclosure not allowing it to flood, not allowing them to sit in the water. Uh, I'm able to just put them in their elevated heated shelter. Obviously, before I put them in, I would have to clean up all this excess poop that is in here. Then we can turn on the lamps. I can close this and, uh, you know, they'll stay nice and dry in here during an entire rainstorm. The reason I do this, like I said, as you see, puddles are filling up now. Burrows get filled with water, which is not what I want to do for these animals. And uh, obviously, you want to keep them dry since they are a a species of animal that does not require high humidity and they they really they really can't handle lots of rain and even though they do tolerate it uh we just want to be cautious about it and you know make sure that they stay as dry as possible so we're gonna get started with that All right, guys, so you guys saw me uh, broom up the entire floor of the heated shelter. Uh, for those that are wondering, the shelter is elevated with cinder blocks, so like that, if it does rain, uh, it's not gonna get flooded whatsoever like the enclosure would. Uh, and the reason why we put them inside there is because we want to avoid stuff like that. As you can see, there's mud kind of, you know, caking up on the bottom of their feet. It's not that it's gonna bother them too much, but uh, we don't want that to happen. So what I'll do is I'll kind of clean it up, make sure they're nice and clean, put them inside the elevated heated shelter. I also place some hay, I'll place some hay inside there so like that they can't eat if they're if they want to while they're in there and then uh you know it's gonna for sure rain here in, in a few minutes because it's florida and florida is very bipolar and uh, for those that are gonna say oh well you're gonna be locking these animals up uh, for an animal that lives so long you know several several years almost reaching to 100 uh you know a couple hours maybe even a day inside does not do them any harm so we're gonna get to that in my reptile room i got a bucket of some you know orchard grass and alfalfa hay mix as you guys saw in one of my previous videos and if you guys did hear that that is the sky talking so we gotta move on really fast to make sure that everything is gonna be okay so once that's emptied out everyone's right here i'll move them back inside all right so you guys saw me move the sulcata tortoises inside their heated shelter uh, right now i don't need to actually uh you know turn on the lamps because it is still during the day and it, obviously we don't want them to get too hot in here so it's going to stay a nice cool temperature right inside here uh as you can see some of them are munching on the hay that's a good purpose for them and uh you know obviously i'll check on them throughout the entire day if it's raining too hard and i can't come out i know they'll be okay and i'll be dry and all i have to do is plug in the lamps into the outlet outside and we'll get some you know infrared bulbs in here and obviously just a nice little basking area. So I'll close them up here. I always like to leave a little bit of a slit so like that, you know, fresh oxygen could come in and out even though that they can breathe inside. And then as you can see, this entire enclosure, hopefully I can find some clips. I'll show you how, uh, you know, flooded it gets. A little bit louder here because they are cutting my neighbor's grass, but right here is Gaia and Dixie and my female redfoot tortoise, Selva. Uh, these are the three animals that I will be removing from this section of their habitat and putting them in tubs under my terrace. The Aldabra tortoise that is in here will be perfectly okay because this area is elevated. It has different levels for him so like that he can, you know, 
fix his posture and obviously not grow into a bad posture as tortoise but also since it is automatically elevated already and it has grass the water filters perfectly he'll stay nice and dry under his house and these guys obviously this kind of floods just like how the other Sokata tortoise pen floods as well so as you can see there's already water building up and it hasn't rained that hard so you can imagine when this thing gets crazy crazy wet so if we guys look at the, the weather there is lots of you know wind uh, the sky is kind of getting dark on this side so I want to avoid that and so like that I don't have to work twice when it is raining and move them while we get the storm. Alright guys, so we got Dixie, we got Zelva, we got Galia, and they all have a nice little fresh bed of hay. They can poop in it, they can eat it, obviously, and if it does get uh, dirty, I'll go ahead and change it as much as possible. Uh, and good thing I just did this right now because it has started to sprinkle, you can see in the pool, and the winds are starting to pick up. So to avoid any, you know, severe flooding for these animals, and even though animals like the redfoot tortoise can handle a lot more water than the sulcatas, I still like to put them in here just to really make sure that they're going to be safe. And obviously I'm monitoring them. They have open air. They're able to breathe. No one's going to escape and they're comfortable on some hay. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy some of these time lapses. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, rate, comment, likes, and see my full of herpers. That is a little bit of a rundown of what I go through whenever there is a rainstorm. Uh, my forecast in my area for the next week is supposed to be like this, uh, rain showers on and off and severe thunderstorms. So I decided to kind of make a video, highlight what I do, what you guys can do. Uh, make sure you have heated shelters, elevated shelters. If you're able to bring your animals inside, uh, bring them in no matter if they're tortoises, whatever animal you have outside, it's important to bring them in. Uh, obviously Buster, my McCall, isn't gonna be in the perch. He always comes in at night anyways, but during these kinds of brainstorms that bring them in the aldabra is going to be okay radiators are inside and little sulcata tortoises and iguanas will be okay outside because they each have their own hives so i want to share that with you guys i'm glad i got this before the rain has started so i uh, hope you guys enjoy and for more information and daily content check us out on instagram and tiktok at ready reptiles thanks for watching